Hey, good afternoon. This is a reference for a Recontro paper. And we are in the Paris a free market here in San Jose. As you see, we are four days previous uh, uh, Christmas Eve of 2020. Well, still the people is uh, 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 shopping <coughs> for the coming Christmas within a few days. Um, as you know, we are stay at home. No food uh, is served um, on the tables. No out, outdoor services. It's only take out or carry out. You you buy, you take out. Yeah, your food. Yeah. It's uh, around one o'clock. Yeah, people is uh, yeah shopping. And as you see, yeah, it's uh, people says follow up the policies for the COVID-19 guidelines, no? Yeah, using the, uh, the face mask, they're wearing it, yeah, as it's supposed to be in order to protect them uh, for safeness, no? Uh, see right here, yeah, and then stand and sell boxes with a face mask, yeah. And uh, on the other side, is the Bay Reza Port Station. Uh, Open it up on um, the 13th Saturday by the San Lecano supervisors. Yeah, finally. But the problem right now is that even the, uh, the barber shops on Salom, Villa Salom, you know, is that they are not open, they are closed. So we are suffering another haircut. I so you have to make your own haircut privately or you or by yourself. Yeah, these uh, uh, these uh, stay at home and also businesses have closed out. The outdoors business for restaurants are shut down and takeout. It's affecting the whole Bay Area. It's a six counties like a Santa Clara, San Francisco. Uh, Contra cost, uh, well, zero ones. Yeah. Well, the good news is that uh, the uh, Operation Warp Speed is uh, providing all the United States, you know, uh, the COVID 19 vaccine. Uh, a few days ago, Santa Clara County, you know, has received and arrived, you know, that 2,900 uh, doses. And it started right away, you know, the application of the vaccines for the, in San Jose for 200. It was a couple of days ago, uh, by Friday, Thursday. And uh, as you see, it's a news around here in the flea market that had meetings about the future of this uh, flea market. We hope so. Yeah, it's changing. Uh, the lack. There are some people that see working for so long, and to be sincere, they should bring the. We hope so, because they keep going. But anyway. Well, it's still early. Years ago, decades ago, I said, like uh, maybe 20 years, 20 years. Well, this place is very full. Yeah, but has changed the 3D over time. But anyway, uh, we see the a source of of, um, uh, of jobs. The, oh, a small ownership, you know, the, for every stand right here. They send, yeah, the merchandise is so they can uh, uh, provide, you know, uh, kind of source of income for everyone, you know. Uh, especially on weekends, Saturday and Sunday, they opened it up, you know, also on, uh, on Friday. In the old times, you know, it used to be uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. But uh, through the overtime, this has changed, you know. But are still working. The stay at home scene you know, has changed a lot of things, you know, here in San Jose, in the, in the county. Uh, people are struggling. Yeah, people are starting for uh, 
you know, to make business right here. And we hope for this is gonna happen. Yeah, it's a four more days for Christmas Eve. Uh, see, well, this is all. Uh, and uh, Merry Christmas for everyone here in the free market. There is a free market in San Jose. Okay, this is right by from the Reconte Fuerte newspaper here in San Jose, California, United States.